Hey, man, I am in a transition. It's very exciting, um, but there's a lot going on and um, with the blog and the podcast and business and family and teenager and life is just full right now. Let's just say it's full and I'm processing a ton and I was in a massive funk <laughs> recently. There's been a few days that have been on the edge stressful and yesterday was just really peak. It was raining here. It's um, autumn in New England, which means all the leaves are falling and it's kind of brown and it's getting chillier and it's not my favorite time of year. I self-confess. I do not love the fall and a lot of people do. It's their favorite season. It's a time that stirs up a lot of emotions for me, um, much of which I can't even go into in this video, but there's just a lot. And so I decided to take a walk with our dog. We have a new dog, which is exciting. I decided to take a walk. I also have a new fitness tracker, and that is encouraging. <laughs> Work at home, mom. That is encouraging me to pay attention to how much I move my body and um, how many steps I'm getting in in a day because it's really easy to sit here and do all my creative vibe stuff and not get my body and my heart pumping enough. So that's been really helpful. So I decided to take the dog for a walk in the rain. I didn't even put on a rain jacket. I was just like, you know what? We're just going for it. We're getting wet. We're gonna do this thing. So we go for a really long walk. And one of the things that struck me was that I was ready to start um, recording more videos and perhaps adding them to the blog post and adding sort of like a video component to the blog. So as you can see, I haven't even washed my face. Um, I haven't, there's no bra under here. Like I'm not dressed. I'm not like, I'm not going to make it fancy. It is what it is. Um, but I wanted to get on because that felt really clear to me yesterday that I needed to connect with you all in this way, in this additional way of recording video and voice. And so the thing that came to me just now actually um, was related to a conversation I had with a friend recently. I had an amazing lunch with a newish friend who it just means the world to me. She's doing incredible work out there and she's an inspiration. And we had lunch together and we were having a conversation about that moment when you just decide. You decide on something and everything in your life changes. You may decide to stop drinking. You may decide to become an entrepreneur. You may decide that you need to change your marital situation. You may decide that it's time to have children. And we were really having a great discussion about what happens in that moment when you decide. And, and I was encouraging, what happens in that moment before you decide? What, because you can say to people, just decide. Once you decide what you want your life to look for, like, once you decide the next step for you, just do it, just follow through. But I was even having this conversation with my 13 year old recently that it's not as easy as that. There's so much more that comes into play upon making a decision to change your life, like to literally change your life. Um, it can be just changing the way you eat or the way you exercise or move your body. But here's what I wanted to propose. Here's what I was thinking about today as I was thinking about this decision. And I, I mentioned to you earlier in the beginning of the video that I've been having a lot of intense emotion in this transition period that I'm in, a lot of intense feeling. And I did make a decision. I did make a decision that will change all of the transition, that will move everything forward in the exact tra trajectory that I desire. I made a decision, but I still felt crappy. I still felt unsure, unclear, overwhelmed. And I asked myself, like, did I not make a strong enough decision? And I think that's not the case. I did. I followed my intuition. I have a very strong intuition. I followed my intuition. I made a decision that was completely in alignment with who I am and who I want to be. And I still felt funny. I still felt unsure. And this morning, Oh, I'm getting this like buzzing. This morning I woke up and everything felt different. Everything felt different. 
the biggest decision I made in regards to where my life is headed for myself and my family was made about, like even getting emotional, was made about three weeks ago. I made that decision. But in the coming, in the following weeks, there was a lot of stuff that just still had to be moved and settled. And I know it's not done. I know it's not complete. I know we're still moving and settling. But it wasn't like a split second decision and everything changed and everything felt amazing. It was a strong, confident, solid decision that left me feeling overwhelmed. It left me feeling spread thin. It left me feeling um, doubtful and confused and fearful until this morning. And I think this morning I woke up and I just feel so clear. I feel so solid. I feel the fire inside again. I feel everything I wanted to feel when I made that decision. But what happened is that I gave space, right? I I gave those, and I think it was about three weeks, I could go back and look exactly, but I gave space for the decision to settle, and I also aligned myself with people, places, and things it, that were in, um, I, I want to say alignment again, that were in alignment with that decision. So I, I, I made a decision, and I set everything up around me to allow that decision to start percolating and bursting and moving forward. And so it wasn't like, and there, I'm not saying there aren't some people who make a split second decision to never drink again or never smoke again or uh, lose weight, or I'm not saying there aren't people who have that moment and it's complete clarity from that moment forward. But I want to bring attention to those of us who make a decision, feel really good about it and still are unsure. And so what I know that I do is that I make a decision I continue to align my life around that decision, surrounding myself with people who agree with and believe in that decision, um, giving myself the tools to support moving forward in that decision, and I wait, and I feel, and I let it happen until that moment hits, and I'm like, Hallelujah, that's what I was looking for. And so this is for those of you um, who have pondered these thoughts before, like someone told you, I made a decision and everything shifted. Um, and you've thought to yourself, well, I've made a decision and everything didn't shift. Well, I want to encourage you to make that decision, stand strong in that decision, and take action on it, even though you haven't had this aha godly moment where everything feels clear take action on the decision you feel good about by by setting up your surrounding for that moment when it clicks for that moment when i um woke up this morning and everything felt different everything felt lighter and clearer and uh, more solid and it doesn't mean that the overwhelm or the confusion is over it just means that I did the work, I made the decision, I did the work, I took the action, and then it clicked. And so I encourage you to just ponder that, consider that. And if you're one of those people who wants to make a change in your life, but it's not feeling like as clear as other people describe it, this might be why. So that went way over the amount of time that I hoped it would, but I am going to continue to add video content to, um, to this blog, to the work that I'm doing, um, and you'll learn more and more about how things are moving forward for me. So have a great day, everybody. Please be in touch. Tell me your thoughts on the video, the blog, and everything in between. Um, share your life with me and perhaps I can help you take the action you need to to move forward.